Hey guys, this video today is going to cover the basics of independent and dependent variables. So let's start with the basics. What is a variable? A variable is something that can take on more than one value. So examples of variables are things like height, weight, um, gender, or sex. These are all things that can take on more than one value. Okay? So when we get down to variables, the more precisely a variable is measured, the more useful that measurement is. This is going to be very important whenever we talk about dependent variables. So a dependent variable, this is the outcome of a research study. Okay? It's dependent on the experimental treatment. I always like to start with it first because it's usually easier to figure out than the independent variable. Dependent variable. This is what is measured in a study. It's the measured variable, the outcome. Now, the very important thing to remember about dependent variables is that they have to be a number. Okay? You're measuring something. You're measuring the outcome. It has to be a number. must be a number if it's going to be the dependent variable. So things like weight can be a dependent variable because it's a number. Um, people cannot be dependent variables. Animals cannot be dependent variables. Um, those cannot be made into numbers. So it has to be something that's measured. Okay? Now independent variables are what we are manipulating in our studies. Okay? We're manipulating it as for the researcher. Um, we are also looking at levels, which are uh, different values of the independent variable. So independent variable is what is manipulated in our experiment or in our study. So this is under the control of the researcher. The researcher is manipulating this. It has to be groups or it has to be levels for this to um, work in our studies. Must be groups. So if you're looking at um, effect of exercise on weight, for example, the weight, as I mentioned before, is our dependent variable because we're measuring it. It can be made into a number. You could look at weight in pounds or kilograms. In the independent variable, exercise, you could have people work out for 30 minutes a day or 60 minutes a day. So two groups for our independent variable in that example. Okay? If you guys have any questions, let me know.